All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, four best, pretty much over for this place, Babylon. The thrill is gone. That's, that's what I might name it. The, the thrill is gone. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the English called God and Jesus Christ, look, said they ain't going to heal this place. It, it, it's a wrap for this place. So let's get some scriptures without further ado. A quick little lesson about the head out. You know, I wanted to burn some early morning and oil right quick. The hell with it all, man. It's about to go down the drain. You get your daily bread and, you, and that's what you do. You get in, you get out. You look, you know, pursuant to the scriptures, this is not your rest. Micah 2 and 10 is, remember, always keep that in mind. This is not our rest. Everything that's written of in the scriptures is going to come to pass, right? Never lose sight of that. This is Isaiah chapter 24. The thrill is gone. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 10. The city of confusion, a.k.a. America. You, you don't know up from down. You don't know right from left. You don't know man from woman. You don't know nothing. It's all a ball of confusion. The city of confusion, Babylon, a.k.a. America, is broken down. Can't you see systematically the Lord is bringing this place down? Day by day, day by day, man. You see, bit by bit, just taking it down. And in the, and in the process, you people are losing your freaking mind. <laughs> in the process of the Lord taking this place down, the majority of you people, many of you Israelites, they haven't even been putting your trust in the Lord or starting to feel it now. Now, you, now you're starting to get nervous. You see, now you, you're trying to say to yourself, damn, man, I, I, I think I need to see the Lord now. But, but for the majority of you Israelites, it's too late. The, the Lord already knows you faking it, right? It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Damn it, everything getting ready to get boarded up back again. You saw what happened in um, 2020. I think it was 2020. They, they boarded up everything. People was busting one of these people about to lose it, man. I mean, losing. You thought 2020 was some people looting and, and riding in the streets. That ain't nothing compared to what's coming, man. Especially when they really start shutting down shit. You see? It's just, there's a cry for wine in the streets. The wine represents knowledge. People want answers now, but then they're going to really want answers once the stay shut down, right? All joy is darkened. With, with inflation, you know, see? The, the joy, the, the thrill is gone. Meats are expensive as all nowhere. Rent, like we was doing a live stream last night. Brothers was going into how like some people rent went up five hundred dollars. It didn't go up fifty dollars. It didn't go up seventy five dollars. Went up five hundred dollars in one month. You see, all that that's all joy being darkened. You see, gas then went up. People starting to cry about that. It ain't even. This is nothing compared to what's coming. The Lord said this is the beginning of sorrows. These different earthquakes, storms, floods. Talks of war, rumors of wars, talks of wars, actually wars popping off. You see, everything, get these different flights, because a plane takes gas, so everything's going to be more expensive. It's going to be more expensive to ride the train, the bus, the plane, uh, Uber cabs, back and forth to work. You you name it, regular cabs. You you name it, man. It's a, it's, it's a wrap for you people, man. All joy is darkened. The Murph, you're going to Murph, is pretty much having fun partying. Party time is over, Israel, all right? The last thing you're going to be thinking about is birthday gifts, partying, having fun, going to restaurants. Oh, you, that's the last thing you're going to think about in the days to come. The mirth of the land is gone, man. The mirth, the joy, people celebrating. Celebration time, come on. All that's going out the window, man, all right? You, you had that time. Look, 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 now, now, now it's over. All right. Matter of fact, let's get on. What is that? Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter. The Lord been told Israel to go to the house on uh, house on morning, but Israel wanted to party. Ecclesiastes seven and two. It is better to go to the house on morning. It's like you're not going to always be able to ignore the signs. It's, it's written. It's written on the wall, Israel. It's written on the wall that this place is not going to bounce back. But Israel still trying to party. You see. Still trying to party, getting ready for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Are, are you serious? 
All hell breaking loose. And Israel, no say, gonna spend their last dollar on some old nonsense, man. They're not saving for a rainy day, which that ain't gonna really help anyway, but still, ain't nothing wrong with saving a penny here and there. Just in case you need some extra food, because shit, bread getting ready to go up to like $20 a loaf. And, and let's not talk about meat. We just say it is better to go to the house this morning. Because look at the state that our people are in. What, what is there to be happy about besides us having this knowledge? That's the only thing. Did to go to the house of feasting. Why? Because the Lord's getting ready to take the mirth out of this place. So you need to get out of that joyous spirit anyway and get, get serious about things, right? For that is the end of all men having all that all that partying. Get caught up, man, and that brings me to um, St. Luke, the 20, uh, 21. You see? Then I, I'm going I'm to get that Lord willing next. For that is the end of all men, all that partying, not paying attention to what's going on, trying to um, party your way out of destruction. <laughs> you, you got Israel trying to party their way out of destruction, like, like going to all those different parties, going to the clubs and things of that nature. Like that's going to stop death and destruction from coming. It ain't. For that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. Once you come back to this knowledge, you start to live. This, this word has quickened us. Then you start to realize what, what state you should be in, how, sh how you should be conducting yourself, right? Jumping to four, the heart meaning the, wide, the mind. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart meaning the mind of fools is in the house of mirth. So you got to ask yourself, is my mind being wise or is my mind being a fool? Because look, it says the heart, no say meaning the mind of the wise is in the house of mourning. But if you all, only thing you think about is party, having fun, while the economy is crashing, you most definitely a fool. You most definitely a fool. If the only thing, now right about now, all hell breaking loose, the only thing you think about is some fun, you still feeling yourself, all hell breaking loose, and you still feeling yourself, you still walking around prideful. Remember, pride go up before destruction and a heart to spirit before a fall. St. Luke 21. <clears throat> What is it, 31? Oh, uh, yeah. St. Luke 21, 31. Red letter, Lord, you how shall I speak of who they even call Jesus, right? Is it so likewise, ye? When you shall see, when you shall see these things come to pass, what, what, what things? The prophecies, right? Know that, know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is nigh at hand. It's salvation nearer than what we believe, right? And, and the kingdom of heaven being established on the earth means that this place is going to go out by way of violence, man. By way of violence, Israel. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. This generation, Israel. So let's get ready to go down, whether you like it or not. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away because they're faithful and true. And take heed to yourselves, examine yourselves. You see, are you part of the wise or are you part of the foolish? At least at any time, your hearts, meaning your minds, be overcharged with surfing, doing too much, in the world too much. Well, the only thing we're supposed to be doing is getting our daily bread. You see, getting in, get out, and drunkenness and the cares of this life. You don't want to get caught up in that nonsense, man. And so that that day come upon you unaware, the day of the Lord, which represents death and destruction, um, cruelness, um, anger, fierce anger, the straight up destruction. For as a snare, a trap shall it come on all them that dwell upon the face of the whole earth, upon them that are not, that are not watching. Watch ye therefore and pray always. We got to watch and we most definitely got to pray that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, because it's coming, and to stand before the Son of Man. You want to be able to escape the race wars, the class wars, the civil wars. Matter of fact, let's just get, let's just get Matthew right quick. Just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your house, but I'm shot nothing long because I got to head out. We got to get our daily bread. The St. Matthew chapter 24. And um, 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. You want to escape these things, right? See that ye be not troubled. Don't worry yourself to death. When the gas start going out off the roof and off the chain, don't worry yourself. When the when um, store prices of food just go out the, out the roof, don't be troubled by that. Let the, let the non-believers, let the Israelites that didn't trust in this word, let them worry, okay? 
When that rent go up $500, let them worry about that. You stay focused. Let us stay focused on your how about Shem Yahushua because the Lord said all these things are going to come to pass anyway. You see? The Lord said all these things were going to come to pass anyway, so we can't stop it. So lock in. Some was on the camera. Going right back, St. Matthew chapter uh, 24, verse 6. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. What we, we say it all the time through the spirit. You got race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic woes, inflation. You name it, man. Fightings. You see? People just going head, head to head combat, man. It says, uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. See, we, we want to be kind of worthy to escape all of these things, right? A lack of food, starvation, and pestilence, more diseases, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. We want to, Lord willing, be kind of worthy to escape all these things, right? They, look, they get ready to lock down the cities. You, you see that in the makings. They about to lock down the cities. Martial law is going to pop off. Salakia, not 2nd Ezra, Salakia. 2nd Ezra is the 15th chapter. Let's see. Get off that. 2nd Ezra chapter 15. Like I said before, I'm going to hit some points and then I'm going to wrap it up. 2nd Ezra chapter 15. Let's go straight to the point. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because martial law is going to kick in. It's going to get that bad out here. These people are getting ready to go bonkers, man. They, they, they might be able to pay their light bill, but they ain't going to be able to get no grocery store. So you know what that means. Let's hit the grocery store up. Let's hit these convenience stores up. You see, people are going to actually lose it, man. So martial law is going to have to kick in. For because of their pride, the city shall be, be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. These are the days that's fastly approaching. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses. Do you, do you not hear what the scriptures say, Israel? They're going to destroy your houses, right? They're, they're not going to have pity upon you. They, they don't care how old you are, how many babies you got, or how smart you is, how many plaques you got on the wall, how much education you went and got, because that's what everybody based things on, how many college degrees I got. Nobody is not going to give a damn about your college degree when all hell break loose. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, right? But shall destroy their houses with the sword. What's the modern day sword? The gun. And they, and they got some big ones out here, right? It spoiled me to rob their goods because of the lack of bread. Remember that famine coming? And for great tribulation, meaning all hell going to break loose and these people going to want something from you. <laughs> These people are going to want something for you, buddy. And you, can, you can believe that. They're going to they're gonna want your goods. They're going to want you. Seek the Lord, Israel. Seek the Lord. The thrill is gone. Let's get Isaiah 36. And I wish I could make this lesson longer, but I got to bring out a couple more scriptures and I got to wrap it up. Isaiah 34. Isaiah 34. Verse 16. Come on now. You always do that. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The book of the Lord is the Bible. We, we, we tell you this each and every day through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushad. The, the word, the book of the Lord is the Bible, okay? No one of these shall fail, meaning the promises, everything that I'm reading about is going to happen, man. The thrill is gone, Israel. It's over now. It's over now. None shall want her mate because the Bible stands alone. For my mouth it hath commanded, and its spirit it hath gathered them. So, so before this place get, get this, uh, totally annihilated, the Lord is gathering the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that number, man. The thrill is gone, man. All right? Let's get this. Amos. Amos chapter 8. Amos chapter 8, verse 10. Amos chapter 8, verse 10. And I will turn your feasts into morning. These different feast days, Israel just partying, having fun. Remember, he said, go to the house of morning rather than the house of feasting, right? And I will turn your feasts into morning. It's going to be a whole lot of sad faces soon coming. Sad faces now. 
and all your songs, because all Jake want to do is party and sing and go to church and listen to them stupid ass songs, right? And all your songs into lamentations. Remember they made that song, I'm Living My Best Life? Well, the Lord's going to turn that into lamentations. You're not going to be singing that song, come. And I will bring upon and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins. And anytime we put on sackcloth, that's a uh, sign of mourning, right? It says, and, and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof as a bitter day, man. You see? That famine of the word is coming. You see? Which which if you read down, that, that's going right into it. But we're gonna we're gonna go back to the scriptures though. The Lord said he's going to turn your feast into morning, man. A, lo a lot of sad singing. Let's get this. Let's get, um, let's go back to 2nd Ezra. I want 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter. 2nd Ezra chapter 6. Yeah, I'm, I almost definitely got to get ready to go. 2nd Ezra chapter 6, um, 22. 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. It says, and suddenly, when you least expect it, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full houses, meaning these stores, these grocery stores, and the full and the storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. No more grocery in your um, Walmarts, your Costco's, your Sam's Clubs, your convenience store down the street, across the street from your houses. You see? It's going to happen suddenly. One day, it was food in there. Then the next day, nothing. Just a dry-ass store. Just a dry-ass store with nothing in it. Why? Because the thrill is gone. The thrill is gone, Israel. You see? I, I want to read that again. 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. This message is deadly serious. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. No grocery whatsoever. What are you Israelites are going to do when it ain't no grocery? What are you Israelites going to do when it ain't no grocery, man? Lose it. That's what, that's what you're going to do. You're going to lose it, man. And I want to get 16 and then I'm going to end it. Second Ezra chapter 16. Let's see where I want to start at. We'll start at 1 and then we'll read around. We'll jump around. Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe, destruction to Babylon, a.k.a. America and Asia. Woe unto thee, Egypt and Syria. All code names for, for America, right? All code names for America. Gird, gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and, and hair. Go into that morning state. Be well, be well, your children. Cry. cry get ready to cry for them because you're going to lose them. And be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. For your destruction is at hand. But, but you, the Bible fake though, right? Let's jump on down. Let's jump on down. 16. Um, 17. Woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me from those days? Destruction, 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 man. That's all that's coming. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The kings of the earth, they get ready to get it. They scared now. And they're going to really get scared when they really start popping off. The beginning of evils, meaning bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a mammoth. Let's jump down. 21. Behold, victuals, meaning food, shall be sold good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. You can, you can buy some food for a decent price still for right now, but watch what happened. And even then shall evils grow. Bad times shall grow upon earth. The sword, which represents destruction, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, man. And these are the times that we live in there, man. Babylon is falling. It's falling. Take bond for her. It, it be so, the most I would have healed this place. But why, why would the heavenly father and his only begotten son heal this wicked, sinful kingdom, man? You see, this, this full of all uh, debauchery, you know what I'm saying? It's full of wickedness, lewdness. It, 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 this place got to go. Matter of fact, one, one more before I go. I, I really got to go, but one more. I, I got I to gotta be allowed to bring out one more, and then I'm gone. I'm going, Israel. Revelation chapter 18. Come on now. 
I don't know why that why that popped up like that. Let's do it again. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this app. I don't know what's going on. Let's get this again. I don't know what the hell going on. Let's go out and come back in. Let's go out and come back in. I, I must be allowed to bring out this last one. <laughs> then I'm going to wrap it up. This is Revelation chapter 18. Come on now. Sleazy E got some crappy technology though. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be. It's doing the same thing. We, we, we'll get it though. Revelation chapter 18. Damn. Let's see. This is verse 18. This is verse um, 8 right here. Revelation chapter 18, verse 8. Therefore, shall her plagues Babylon, a.k.a. America, the land of confusion, shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. So this place is going to be burned up soon, come man. This place is in for a big giant cookout, Israel, and the majority of you Israelites are, are invited. You see? All right? So quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the thrill is gone. Shalom.